Hello and welcome, or welcome back to some of you. This video or presentation today is all about the best day to trade Forex. We're going to be talking about the best day of the week to create a Forex strategy. But it's not just about Forex. The techniques that I'm going to show you are going to apply to different markets as well. Futures markets, you know, crude oil, gold, that sort of thing, and whatever your favourite Forex pair might be. We're firstly going to talk about how I go about determining the best day and then we're going to look at a real example as usual. In this particular example I'm going to be using Euro Dollar but that was just completely picked by random just because it was one of the major pairs. But like I said, the techniques that I'm going to show you are going to work for every market and they're techniques that are going to help you improve or create some nice day trading strategies but a lot of the times not only day trading strategies strategies that we're going to hold the positions overnight. This technique is going to be useful for buying, so going long and also some short selling. And it's a very powerful technique that I expect a lot of you haven't seen before. Now, I believe from my experience of developing strategies uh, to get ahead of the markets, to beat the game if you like, you have to be doing things that aren't popular. You have to be doing things that everybody else isn't doing. If you're doing things that everybody else is doing, then you're unlikely to get an edge and over time you're unlikely to win. So pay close attention, you'll probably quite enjoy this presentation and it's not particularly difficult but it's fundamentally sound. So firstly we're going to look at the computer, I'll show you how I came up with the uh, technique and then we're going to go over to the whiteboard with an example and talk a little bit more in depth about it. Okay, before we actually look at the report I mentioned that I created a code, so I did a little program here on MultiCharts, it's the software that I use, and it's ever so simple. What it does is it buys at the start of the, the session, I mentioned here we're using Euro Dollar, so it buys at the be very beginning of the session, and then it exits at the end of the session. And it does that through Monday through Friday, or actually it's Forex, it's actually Sunday through through Friday. So we've got five sessions of the week, five days of the week, and the way that MultiCharts does it, um, then I, they're, they're one, two, three, four, five. It's as simple as that. So once we run the results, we can get an idea of how much profit was made for every day of the week by buying and then selling at the end of the session. Okay? So I've run this over 12 years worth of data. I've run it over from January 2008 through till the end of 2019. So we've got 12 years of data, so we've got a really good sample, a really good idea of what this sort of daily bias is going to show us. And what we'll end up with is, for each day of the week, we're going to end up with either a positive or a negative number. Now, if we end up with a negative number, then what that's telling us is that if we bought at the start of the session, exit at the end of the session, for that day, let's say Wednesday for example, and it's a negative number, then it's not that you know, we can't use that, we can use that. We can use that around building a strategy to go short on that day because we know that it's got a bias over time that that day is generally, it goes down. So we can build a short selling strategy around that. So let's have a quick look at the screen now. And what we can see from this optimization report, I won't go into showing you the code or anything at the moment. We want to be taking uh, notice of two columns, and that's this one here, which is day of the week. You can see we've got one through to five for each day of the week, and look at the net profit. So we see the first one is a minus number, and a positive, positive, a minus, and a minus. So that tells us that for Monday's period, um, it's a negative number, so we want to look for short selling opportunities on the Monday. And what I've done with this information is created a bar graph. We'll have a quick look at that one now. That's simply what it looks like up here. I've put in these, I've exported these numbers for each day of the week, and here's the bar graph representing that visually. and. It's quite clear to see that Monday, 
is a negative. We're looking for short selling opportunities Tuesday and Wednesday are both positive. So we're looking for buying or going long on those days. Thursday is an extremely negative day, so that's probably the best day to look for short selling opportunities. And Friday is also negative. Now, I just wanted to show you that graph quickly on the computer, but I've recreated it on the whiteboard. So I'll go and grab the whiteboard and we talk more about it uh, on there. Okay then, here's that same graph recreated on the little whiteboard. What do you think of that? I don't think it's too bad. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd put it on the whiteboard just because it's easier to talk through. So let's just recap. We're looking at Euro dollar over a 12 year period and we're buying at the start of every session and exiting at the end of every session. So we're holding the trade for 24 hours, being that it's Forex, it's gonna be slightly different on other markets. And for each day of the week, so every Monday, we buy and exit at the end of the session. Here's the result, Tuesday through there for the whole 12 years. So it's really nice to see this visual representation of how Euro dollar actually behaves. What can we do with this information now well, it's going to get you one step ahead because if you're, let's say you're a day trader and you're building like a day trading strategy, you are going to be fairly foolish to be building a day trading strategy uh, to trade on a Thursday. Well, you might have, this, if you're like, like most people, you've probably got a day trading strategy that you want to trade day after day after day. You don't have any thoughts to actually which day of the week it is. Um, but... Looking at this data, why would you look to go long and exit by the end of the session on a Thursday? There's the data, it shows you. So what would I suggest do with this information now is create a trading strategy around this. Now, we've talked about this before, each markets do behave slightly differently. Euro yen behaves differently to Euro dollar, for example. Some markets respond really well to breakouts, others respond well to buying pullbacks. So. Whatever the strategy is, test it. So if we're looking to go along and maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, your strategy, it might be a breakout strategy, or it might be we're going to be trading Tuesday or Wednesday, but we want to buy on a pullback. So we're looking for a short-term dip and then buy, buy on short-term weakness. Um, again, these days here, doesn't mean that we can't trade them. It means that we want to be looking at trading them short. Okay, so a breakout, if the market's going down, looking to buy breakout, uh, sell short breakouts, um, or we could be looking to short, very short-term rallies. If you know it, it, the market's rallied for a couple of hours on a Thursday, might be looking to short that because we know by the end of the session, typically over this 12-year period, it's going to go down. And we're not just limited to day trades. Um, some of you might have noticed that. These are actually consecutive days, aren't they? So Tuesday and Wednesday, because they're consecutive, that means that we could be looking to get in Tuesday and perhaps not get out by the end of the day because we know Wednesday, by the end of the Wednesday, that typically ends positive as well. So we could be looking for trades that last a couple of days from Tuesday. And exactly the same goes for the shorts. We can go short on Thursday and Friday or we can actually hold over the weekend because look, Monday is a down day too. So we could be looking to enter short on a Thursday and not exit until some point on the Monday. So this information I find really powerful. Um, we can even go one step further and look into hours of the day because there are certain hours or time blocks or periods during the day where markets tend to rally or decline. So. We might go one step further, look at on a Thursday, um, look at what hours during the day is it most likely to fall. You might find that between 12 o'clock and 5 p.m. Um, there is a bias uh, for the market to fall. Combine that with what we know here that on a Thursday it's definitely quite a weak day anyway for Euro dollar. Um, that's, that's one step further that we can take this idea. It's an idea that I picked up from Larry Williams. Um, uh, the one that sticks in mind is his strategy of TDOM, or trading day of the month, where he looks at every trading day in the month 
and looks at biases there. And there are biases. You know, there's, I've created lots of successful strategies around that idea. Uh, trading day 13 to 17, for example, that four day period might be very strong for a certain market. And then you can build a strategy idea around that. And like I said, these sorts of ideas, are you've probably not come across them before. And I really believe that that's a good way to get ahead. That's a good way to beat the markets because not everybody is using this sort of idea. So hopefully that's going to, that's self-explanatory. I like the idea of visually being able to see that on the graph. Hopefully that might give you a bit of food for thought and you can go away and create some strategies your own based around this idea that I'm showing you here. And like I said before, it doesn't just work for Euro dollar, it works for every single market. Well, that's about it for that one, guys. I hope you like that presentation, and I'm sure you're gonna find it useful if you actually put it into practice. And as always, if you've got any questions, then leave them down below in the comments, or you can email me, uh, if it's a longer question, email me, jared, at thetransparenttrader.com. Uh, head over to the website, there's some, always some good stuff over there, some freebies, free strategies, that sort of thing. And maybe you'll like me to do that same sort of presentation, but on some other markets. I'm sure it's not just Euro dollar that you want to trade. Hopefully you're diversifying your portfolio and, and trading over a few more markets. So please like the video if you've liked it. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And until the next one, this is Jared Goodwin, and thank you.